So let's talk about Google Ads. Should you do it? Do they work? And does it get views? And the answers are, I don't know, and sorta, and uh, it gets views. So I bought ads for two separate videos. It's hard to say if it worked, right? I mean, they definitely got views. You can see there's 451,000 impressions and 9,000 views. Tried, I tried to buy ads for three things, right? I tried to add, buy an ad, uh, this Fortnite Last Life video and this Jacob Campbell interview. The interview had cussing in it, I guess, or something. They didn't like it. They said it was offensive. So I made a trailer. Basically, I made the same thumbnail and this was a commercial for the interview. As you can see, the commercial has 6,901 views and the actual interview only has 184 views. So let's look at my campaigns. Uh, you can see this one got zero. It didn't work. They didn't like it. They said it was it's gross or something like that. I forget what it was. Some kind of weird message they gave me. This one was uh, disapproved. It said a shocking content. Uh, I assume it was cussing. I don't know. So here's the breakdown. So it cost me $86 for this one and $80 for that one. Yeah. I mean, I put a $10 day for seven days essentially. So yeah, $80 for this one, $86 for that one. So the Fortnite one, there was 105,000 impressions and 2,700 views. Uh, and this one had 346,000 impressions and 7,000 views. But again, let's look at the actual videos. And here's why I say it, I don't really know if it worked. Uh, I mean, you definitely get views, but does that really matter? So if you look at this Fortnite video, it's gotten 33,000 views, which is really good. I mean, it's a pretty strong performer. I made $77 off of it when it only cost 30 bucks to buy that thing. So this is pretty good. However, as you can tell, I've only made $77 and I paid $80 for an ad for it. So now I'm in the negative for this video because it cost me $30 to originally buy the thing, whereas I would have been making $40 something dollars from the video uh, so i don't think it helped at all and this one was doing pretty good really before and i really don't think it helped anything and typically these types of videos for me do pretty good these little fortnite codes inside a gaming thing if you look at all my channel content and look at the most popular videos you can see this one here two years ago has 261,000 views that's the same concept it's just the code in one of those little cases that they sell around Christmas time. And see the Fortnite one's already up here at 33,000. Here's another one that did 37,000. So it was kind of a no brainer. This one was gonna do pretty good. Obviously the Fortnite videos aren't getting as much pop to them as they did in the past. But I mean, still, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with 30, 33,000 views. I like that, that's, that's a good video for me. Uh, now the whole reason I did the ad in the first place is because I don't make interviews. This is the first interview I've ever done. Since then I've recorded another one with Sam Be Yourself. I have one coming up with Bootleg from the Dayton family. So I'm looking forward to doing these interviews and I wanted to get some interest in there. I think the interview itself is pretty good. Uh, I mean, I think Jacob's interesting. I think I did a good job interviewing. However, that's not my standard audience. That's why I wanted to advertise it. The video quality wasn't uh, the best since I've hired an editor trying to make my videos a little bit better and hopefully they will look better for future videos. But I wanted to use this when I reach out to people and said, hey, I would like to interview you. Check this one out as an example. I would like it to have better numbers than 184 views. Uh, because again, I think the video is good. I think the interview is good. I think Jacob's interesting and I would like people to learn more about him. And I think the interview provides that opportunity to learn more about him. But here's why I say I don't think Google ads work. So yes, assuming this one didn't cuss and I could have just had all 6,900 views on here, then yes, that would have been good, uh, just on surface alone. But when you click on the actual video and look at the analytic, here's where the problem is. Obviously you can see, yeah, this is when I was started. December 6th is when I first started the, the ad here, of course, and it only lasted the, the I mean, it looks like it kind of went on a little longer than it should have. I gained 20 subscribers, but I don't think it was because of this. Because here's how you can tell. Average view duration is 12 seconds. And it's only a minute long video. And all it does is tell you, uh, I interviewed him and I think you should check it out. If you watch Rhythm and Flow on Netflix, you probably thought Jacob Campbell had to stand out audition. I know I did. After seeing him on the show, I started checking for his music on YouTube Music and Spotify. And I became a legitimate fan. I have a YouTube channel, 5 After 12, 13.5 thousand subscribers and 6.7 million views. My normal videos are focused on tech-related products, Nintendo Switch, Android phones, head units, laptops. However, after hearing Jacob's music, I felt compelled to reach out and I was able to set up an interview. We had a long conversation about the show and his music and his life in general. On part one of the interview, we do a very deep dive on the show itself. We talk about his time at Rhythm and Flow. We literally go through the show scene by scene. We get his perspective, what it was like being on the show, what it was like behind the scenes, pulling back the curtain on reality TV just a little bit, and we talk about how the show has impacted him, how his life has changed and what it's like a year later. In part two, we discuss Jacob Campbell himself, the person, the artist, and his music. So check out the interview on my YouTube channel, 5 After 12. Check out the channel itself and check out Jacob's music. I think you'll like it. So um, that's the whole commercial, right? You can tell. <laughs> 
it didn't, it, you know, you can see the likes versus dislikes. I averaged 86% positive like, and here I got 40% positive. So you can see my likes versus dislikes. They're usually pretty good, and this one has 15 thumbs up and 24 thumbs down. I watched a video on this. It's not a good idea to use one of your regular videos on it because when people see the ad, they just give it a thumbs down automatically. You know, they weren't even watching the video and they were giving it a thumbs down, which I understand. I don't like, no one likes ads. This is more of an experiment than anything else, but it did teach me something. More so making this commercial. Just that little short commercial that I just played, trying to record that took me forever. I record everything off the cuff. Even this right now, I'm just speaking at random. This is not a script that I'm reading off of. And it made me think maybe I should get a script <laughs> because it, it was so hard to make that video. Uh, just that little short thing. And even now it sounds kind of clunky. So since then I have hired an editor. Uh, I'll make a video on that too. You know, it made me, it gave me an idea about the channel. So I would rather not lose that 160 that I burned trying to advertise here, but it did teach me something. One, that I don't need to use Google ads ever again. And two, I should focus more on the content of the video itself like hiring the editor and maybe working on some scripts. I don't think I want to do everything scripted because I do kind of like just flowing off the cuff and the editor will help make it less boring when I'm just rambling on. He can, he'll help dial me in some. What? Also, so if we go back and look at this, uh, let's look at this more. So like you can see on the Fortnite one, I have 39 dislikes, which is not standard. That's more than I would normally have, I believe. So I might've even hurt myself by advertising this particular video. So December 6th is when the ads went live. And you can see nothing really changed there. It wasn't anything drastically different before. You can see I was spiking when it first came out. And of course it spiked on Christmas day, which was expected. So I really don't think the ads helped me. Now the reason I said sort of in the intro is because if all you want to look at is views and if you listen to Mr. Beast all he says that matters is views and retention so you will get the views from buying an ad for your video but you won't get the retention I mean it's possible but it's highly unlikely in my opinion that someone's going to see an ad and then just stay on it the whole time certainly from my experiment I don't see that happening now, I do have an idea of trying something different uh, I'm not going to say that in this video but keep an eye on the channel because I like I said I do believe in the interview itself and I am, for one, I hired the editor to make a better video visually component to it. And then I have another idea that I'm going to make to advertise that and we'll see if that helps spike it. And I'll make a follow up on that as well. And I'll reference this video when I do that. And, you know, check out the interview. But if you don't like that kind of interview, you know, I have other things. And look, here's an example. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Like I, I bought the Mr. Beast Burger and you can see it has 86,000 views, which is uh, really good for my channel. My channel is pretty good. So yeah, if you're just checking it out because of the ad, uh, you're wondering if ads work, uh, I'm going to say I don't think they do. And, you know, check out my channel. Maybe you'll like it. All right, thanks for checking me out. If you liked it, uh, how about subscribing? It'll help me out. And maybe you'll, you know, you'll see something interesting here. All right, thanks.